I wanted to finish off with what I believe is the fundamental error that leads to unethical training. The fundamental error is this, that I think in the big wide world, and discounting the people in this room, the fundamental error is that people do not accept and respect the true nature of equines. The problem is that you, if you're a trainer who thinks that horses can be dominant, aggressive, that they can be controlling, manipulative, deliberately deceitful, just take the mickey, or be naughty, those beliefs will affect your principles, <coughs> which will affect your morals, which will affect your ethics. And that will change the way you interact with equines. What seems amazing to me is that we have missed the blindingly obvious that everybody knows who's ever interacted with equines, they are flight animals. They want to run away. That is their primary method of survival, to run away from scary things. They're not evolved to deal with difficult, complicated situations. If you can deal with it, do it. If you can't, run away from it. In fact, conflict and aggression is particularly dangerous if you're a flight animal because you get injured and if you get injured you can't run away and then you get eaten and it's fatal but the strange notion is that this flight animal is also the same one that is dominant and aggressive and controlling and deliberately deceitful and trying to manipulate us and yet again we've forgotten another fundamental principle they could kill us in an instant they kick harder bite harder they're faster they're stronger yet they do not use that against us. We can control them. We manipulate every area of their lives. We interfere with them. We absolutely get them to adapt and be controlled and give over their own direction and control, and they allow us to do it. The individuals that don't are of our making. It's our lack of understanding. It's our lack of ethical approaches, principles, morals, that sort of thing that affect the behavior of those individual animals and create the behaviors that we perhaps don't like. And it comes down to this fundamental error of not using the true nature of equines as the fundamental guiding principle of working with behaviour. Add in the fact that most people don't understand learning theory, how difficult learning is, and even how to apply learning theory to equine situations, and, and wow, you've got a massive, a massive, impressive problem. But think it through on the practical application, that the majority of the things that we think are unethical are things that are furthest from the true nature of the horse the control, the manipulation, the equipment, the gadgets, those sorts of things. But practically, if you've got that horse, if you've got a horse that maybe doesn't like being caught, or perhaps bites when you go in the stable, or puts his ears back, or uh, maybe he kicks when you try to pick the feet up, or maybe she doesn't lead properly, or she's a bit bargy, or he's a bit impatient, or maybe that doesn't load into the trailer when they're supposed to, or they're a bit hesitant, or maybe if you've got a a horse that doesn't want to be ridden or is nervous of tractors or, or those sorts of things. If you attribute that behaviour to dominance, to aggression, to being a power, power crazed animal that seeks to be in control and deliberately manipulates or, or is deceitful or just takes them again, you will never get the right answer. Because we know that those behaviours are caused by fear, by pain, by environmental problems, by diet, by um, lack of experience, by bad experiences, by the inability of the trainer, by the lack of confidence, by the lack of experience, by the lack of knowledge. If we can train any of them, we can train all of them. And I think we are the horse's biggest problem. 
Our ethics, our morals, our principles, our behaviour are the horse's biggest principle problem. If you accept the true nature of equines, it will determine and change everything that you do. You will end up going on a mission to grow your morals and your virtues by working with them to become a better person you will discover that you are closer to a more ethical approach and that it is much easier to walk the talk thank you